When you're optimizing for conversions with Facebook ads, more often than not, you're gonna wanna use a standard conversion event. Add to cart, view content, make a purchase, these kinds of things that Facebook already has set up for you and that you can easily connect to other third-party providers. But every once in a while, you need to create a custom conversion event. Now this process is a little bit different than setting up a standard event. So today we're gonna to walk through just how to create a custom conversion event, how to add it to your domain, and some best practices to sort of make your life easier throughout the whole process. Now, if you're new here, my name's Tom, and on this channel, we talk about music marketing, branding, business, and a host of other things that are gonna help us move from making music as a hobby to making music as a business. And today, we're gonna walk through how to set up your own custom conversion events with Facebook ads, how to add them and connect them to your domain, and some best practices to make your life easier and keep yourself organized on the platform. So let's dig in. So when we get into Facebook ads, the first thing we wanna do is go to the event manager. To get there, we're gonna to go to the top left corner, select the three lines and go to events manager. Now to create a custom conversion, you need to be firing your pixel from a domain that you're able to add your pixel to. Now, usually this is gonna be a domain that you own. Sometimes you're able to do this with some third-party services, hyped it being one of the specific ones that jumps out in my mind, but we're gonna walk through this using our own domain. Now, if you haven't connected your domain to Facebook to use with your ads, you can check out this video right here to walk you through that whole process and get things set up, and then you can come back to this one. Assuming you have everything you need, We'll dig in. When we get to the event manager, we started out at this data sources tab. Go to the left side, go to the star and select custom conversions. This is where we're gonna create our custom conversions. So there's a big blue button that says create custom conversion in the middle. Now here, there are several ways we can go about making this custom conversion. So we're gonna use our pixel to fire the event. And then you can select from some options here for the conversion event. Now you can use all URL traffic or you can select from some standard events to create a custom conversion. Now the argument is, of course, if you're gonna select from any of these standard events, you might as well just use that one for our purposes of sending traffic to Spotify. So we're gonna select all URL traffic. We're gonna start by giving our conversion a name. In this case, we're gonna call it play because this is the button title that we're gonna use on our landing page. And then we're gonna come down here to this URL field. Now you can select from URL, referring domain or event parameters. We're gonna select URL and you can do contains, doesn't contain or equals. We're gonna do contains and we're gonna enter the word play. So this means that the URL that fires this custom conversion contains the word play in there somewhere. We're gonna click create, click done. And now we have a custom conversion that's gonna fire on any URL that comes from my domain that has the word play in it. So I've created a subdomain called play.tomdupreethethird.com. So anything that's play.tomdupreethethird.com slash whatever is gonna fire this custom conversion. So I can do play.tomdupreethethird.com slash lions for my song lions, slash hero for my song hero, slash Spotify if I just wanna send traffic to Spotify, or whatever, you get the picture. This is the way I like to set up a custom conversion. I like to have something that's narrow enough that I can specify a certain sort of group of activity, but broad enough that I can use it across multiple different things. Now, a problem I see a lot is that people will create a specific custom conversion for each campaign and each song. And this can stack up inside of here very, very quickly and become overwhelming and very difficult to organize. But if you wanna do that, we'll walk through exactly what that looks like. So you'll go to create custom conversion once again, and in this case, we'll create a conversion that just happens when we send traffic to Spotify. So we'll call this conversion Spotify. Again, my pixel, all URL traffic, and then we'll come down here and the keyword will be Spotify for this one. And we'll click create. So now we have these two custom conversions. One fires on all domains that include play in it, and the other one fires just on domains that include Spotify. So now we have to make sure this custom conversion is working. So we'll go back to the data sources tab and we'll go up to the middle here and select test events. Now here on the test events section, we're going to put in a URL that 
goes to a landing page that is not firing data for me, but the link inside of the button on that landing page is going to be the link from our custom conversions that we want to use. So we're going to do link dot Tom Dupree third.com slash hero. And we're going to select open website. And this is going to pull up this nice, pretty landing page for hero. When we go back here. We can see that no events have been fired because there's no data tracking happening on that landing page. Now in an ideal world, you would have data tracking happening on here, but for this video, we're not doing that. But if we click the play button here, it's going to take us to Spotify. And when it does, when we go back to Facebook, you can see that in addition to the standard events that are embedded into that link firing, both of our custom conversions have fired as well. That's because the link inside of this button is play.tomdupreethe3rd.com slash Spotify. So we've hit both of them at once, kind of two birds with one stone in this instance. If we want to test just that link, we can clear activity and we'll put play dot Tom Dupree the third dot com slash Spotify in here and click open website. And this is going to take us directly to Spotify and bypass the landing page. So this is just an embed link that takes us directly to my Spotify profile. So again, if we do that, you can see that not only have these standard events fired that are embedded inside of that link, but our custom conversions have fired as well. So now that we've confirmed that our custom conversions are working, we can go back here to the custom conversion tab and see that we've gotten some activity received from our pixel because both are indeed showing active with a little green dot. So now to use this custom conversion, we have to add it to our domain. So this is 50% of the way there. We're 50% of the way there at this point, halfway mark. We've gotten it set up. We've gotten them created. They are working. But now to use them in an ad campaign, we have to add them to our custom domain. So we'll go back to the data sources tab. We'll go down to this middle menu here, aggregated event measurement and select manage events. I'll select my domain, tomdupreethe3rd.com and I'll select manage events. Go to the top right and select add event. Once I'm there from the left drop down, I'm going to select a custom conversion from the right drop down. I'll select one of the two conversions I've, I've created that I want to use. In my case, I want to use play. I'm going to ignore this random error message and I'm going to select review, select yes to confirm these changes and click apply. You've successfully changed event configurations. So you must wait 72 hours to make another change. Got it. And now we can see that the custom conversion play has been added to our events on our domain. So now we're hundred percent of the way there. We've created our custom conversion and we have added it to our domain. So now it's ready to be used in an ad campaign. So let's hop over to the ads manager and we will go to the ad set section of the setup process. So I can show you how to select this in a future campaign. So if we go back to the top left, go to ads manager and I'll select create a new campaign. We'll use conversions, continue. And we're just going to jump over to the ad set level here. Now here we've got my pixel is already selected and play is available for use to use with this campaign. Spotify is listed, but it's not added to our domain yet. So we're not going to select that one. We can select play, which is the one we just created. And now from here, the setup process remains the same. You go through all of the normal steps and your campaign will optimize for this play custom conversion. So anywhere you have that link inside of this ad campaign, this is what will fire for you. And this is how you will track whether or not your campaign is successful. So this is how you create and set up your own custom conversions in Facebook ads optimized for iOS 14. As I said at the beginning of this video, odds are you're going to want to use a standard conversion event, view content, uh, page view. If you're just trying to get link clicks, you know, lead generation, purchase, add to cart, all these different things are already built in for your use on the platform. But in the event that you can't use one of those or simply don't want to, creating one or two custom conversions is a way to optimize and take advantage of conversion ads without going through additional steps. And keeping things clean like this is going to make your life a lot easier in the long run instead of creating a custom conversion for every single song you drop or every single minute little purpose that you might have one for. So that's it for this one. Before I let you go, if you don't subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And at the end here, I've got a couple of videos you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace.